Hey everyone, it's Alyssa from Planet Alyssa. I am here with this week's What I Sold on Etsy video. I'm going to apologize for the sun that's kind of washing everything out, but it's early in the morning and it's sunny here, which is great. Um, it's beautiful weather today, which is a nice change from how it's been the past few weeks. But I'm going to head out to a garage sale and a thrift store in a bit, so I wanted to make this video before I did. So anyway, we're dealing with the sun here. But I had a not so great week on Etsy this week. I made it halfway to my goal. I made I sold a uh, hundred and one dollars worth of stuff, six items in total. So really not that exciting a week. And uh, again, why? I don't know. I don't think I did anything different than I did last week as far as listing and stuff. Um, pretty much almost an identical week in in terms of that. Um, but sales are down. We are going into a holiday weekend here in the U.S. It's Memorial Day weekend, so maybe people are getting ready for, you know, maybe going to the beach or having cookouts or going camping or whatever they're doing, so sales are down because of that. Um, then, on the other hand, my Amazon sales have been, like, higher than normal this week, so whatever. Um, maybe maybe the rule of thumb for me is if Amazon is up, Etsy's going to be down, or vice versa. Maybe not. I don't know. I, I, I can never seem to figure this out. But anyway, uh, that's how it's been going this week for me. I don't expect this weekend to be too busy because it is a holiday weekend and people be outside doing stuff and they won't be on their computers or their phones or whatever shopping. So, you know, I, mean, I did have an order come in this morning, um, but it's from the United Kingdom where it's not Memorial Day weekend. So that kind of makes sense. Anyway, uh, that's what's going on here. I'm going to show you my shop stats for the week, and then I'll show you each of the items that sold and how much they sold for, which is just the selling price of the item. does not include any shipping fees that the buyer paid or fees I paid to Etsy or purchased the item. Okay, guys, here are the shop stats for the week. Uh, views are definitely down over, I guess, what they would normally be, about 2400 and change in views 148 favorites most of those are listing favorites and six orders and below we can see the chart of when things came in it was obviously busier earlier in the week as opposed to later um things really slumped around wednesday there but uh yeah it's it's hard to tell when you have a week like this that's kind of slow um, I, I don't really feel like, you know, the graph is too accurate as far as what the big days are and what the slow days are. So the first item I sold this week was a baseball glove. It sold for $25. This was a vintage Wilson glove. I don't remember the model number on it. It didn't have um, any different like player's name or anything associated with it. Um, was an older glove. I picked it up in auction, no, oh, like a month or so ago and actually... I picked up another glove with it as well that sold last week, so um, last week or the week before, I'm not sure. Anyway, sold for 25 bucks, and, you know, I got in a box lot for very little money, so pretty cool. Sold an item from the clearance section of the shop. This was a metal basket, sold for $6. Can't really see, and this actually had some, like, metal flowers attached to it, too, a couple of white flowers, um, but I don't see them in this picture. Anyway, uh, this was something I picked up at a barn sale oh, two years ago at least and uh, have had it kicking around for a while. And I sold a smaller vintage jewelry box this week. Uh, it sold for $15. This was like just a single tier jewelry box, so like for holding like earrings or, or something like that. Um, kind of funky vintage uh, vinyl uh, design on the outside there and I do not remember where I picked up this one. I think it was a thrift store, but I'm not sure because I got another one that was similar to it not too long. Right around the same time that I got this one, I think. And I sold this vintage mirror, like a, is a liquor wine company, uh, for $30. I picked this up at a church sale, not really a rummage sale, but similar to a rummage sale, uh, last summer, I believe, or end of the summer anyway. And, uh, yeah, this was actually going to a restaurant or, or bar or something like that. I think it was a restaurant in, uh, in the city in New York. And then I sold this vintage tray. It was a paper mache tray. It sold for $10, illustrated with birds and, and flowers on it there. I think those were parrots. 
Um, it's a smaller size tray, like a little snacks tray size tray. And where did I get this? I got two of them at the same time. And I remember having them in a haul video. I can't remember if it was the thrift store or rummage sale or, or where they came from. And then the last item I sold this week was this vintage souvenir plate from San Francisco. Sold for $15. This is something I picked up um, just like a week or two ago at a thrift store. And it wasn't too much money. I was really drawn to the style of it. Um, but the thing is, when I went to go list it, I actually found out there were quite a few of these on Etsy. So there must have been a lot of these made. And... You know, the prices were all over the map. I priced mine at $15, and I was kind of, like, regretting the decision to purchase this because I'm like, oh, this thing's going to sit here forever. It's not going to sell, and it sold, like, within a day or two of listing it. I really don't know why. I have no explanation. But anyway, I'm happy that it did sell, and, you know, I don't know that I'd pick up another one if I saw one just because I had regrets, but then again, it did sell right away, so who knows. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. I put out these videos every week showing the different vintage items that I've sold in my Etsy shop, Planet Alyssa, and then try to get some other videos out there, too. Like I said, I am going out in a little bit, and maybe I'll pick up some stuff and show it to you, hopefully. Hopefully I find some good deals out there. But uh, in the meantime, I hope everyone has a great weekend, and I'll see you all again soon. Happy selling, everyone!